Taylor. He's got Yedlin on the overlap down the right side, but it comes in here for Pozuelo. Neatly worked by Miami. Falls for Higuain! Wouldn't you just know it? A huge goal for Inter Miami. And once again, it's the late show from Gonzalo Higuain. In the top leagues, at the top level. And this is another tremendous goal. Mota heavily involved. He's been brilliant. 12 yards. Goes left foot, finds the back of the net. One nothing in the 32nd. A first MLS goal for Giacomo Frioni. And does incredibly well, does the stutter step to commit Guilinho, who is sort of at fault for the whole move. And then it's just great technique there to commit the goalkeeper. New England set up defensively. Moreno. Out for Lennon. Lennon will serve it. Bicycle kick! Oh! My! Back of the net! 81st minute! Atlanta! Joseph might have just saved the sliver of opportunity to make it to the postseason. Appreciation from the opposition crowd. Lennon getting forward into a good space and wow! World class! What a goal from Joseph Martinez. If that's his final act of 2022, he's reminded everyone at this club and in all of Major League Soccer just exactly what he can do. Renix with a nifty little way to stay on the ball. New England knocking on the door. Bo, patient, back of the net! 85th minute! What an answer to that goal by Joseph. Talk that Bo really wasn't all that involved that he needed to be, and he just made it a 2-1 affair. And another substitution, the final one on the afternoon. Referee allowing play to continue as Nicholson has found himself in plenty of space and driving at the defense. Barrios, low through, Rubio! There's the opener, there's goal number 15 for Diego Rubio. He had a chance earlier this second half, but he buries that one as it's Colorado 1, FC Dallas nil. Stops it, waits, sees the opening between the defenders, Slides it all the way through, and Rubio just sweeping right through. Poked away. Oh, there's Zudarski. Yuzviak at full tilt. Zudarski with the rebound. Yuzviak a little bit too wide. The cross. Oh! And from close proximity, Daniel Rios has put Charlotte ahead. Johnny on the spot. He's going to be alive in the box. If it comes with us, he could have gone Brown Bronico. This is not a good pass from Carroll in the end, but Yuzviak gets it and makes something of it. Charlotte into the attack. Yuzviak double teamed. Still in the battles, though. Philadelphia can't quite clear their lines. Daniel Rios away. Yuzviak. Rios. Rios looking for a second! A little turn from Rios in the end. Comes back to Yozviak. And then once it comes back to Danny Rios, it's this little turn here. That little turn, now that opens up the goal. Look how Blake is squatting. All right, he's up. Rios to step up! Wow. And he rifles it in! The first hat trick in Charlotte FC history! Scored by Danny Rios! What a hat trick. Puts it in the corner. Couldn't happen to a bad guy as well. The crowd once more. Can't satiate it. I've got to say the message I've just seen. Let me wait until after this. I'll see you, Moves it for Gaines. Gaines across the six. And it's no a tap in. And it's number four for Danny Rios. Can you believe it? Here's the
the play in the end. It comes to Mackenzie Gaines bouncing. I'm thinking he's going to shoot. Oh, the weight on the pass from Mackenzie Gaines in the end. On a ball as he spun around. Yuya Kubo's going to come in for about half an hour, it looks like. Just caught into the dugout. So Pat Newton's already ready to make his first change. Durant has Cameron chasing him. Durant will take the shot in Chicago. Strikes first on the road. John Durant stuns the crowd with his seventh goal of the season. When we talked about Chicago counterattacking and Durant, the young, powerful center forward just drives into the space. You can see Jeff Cameron just trying to get back. To Never the Costa, but another chance. Those balls so close. You keep you keep talking about it. The chance is so close for Cincinnati. Mueller in the meantime trying to break out in transition. Squares it across. Gutierrez is there. Salantano off his line, and Gutierrez doubles Chicago's lead. The fire have stunned Cincinnati in the last few minutes. As this ball comes across, you can see Roman Salantano just trying to close the space, but Ryan Gutierrez. Stays calm. A lot of times, again, you, you have the urgency. Of course, it's a great thing, but you've got to be disciplined with the setup. And just rely again on your training, what you've set up, what you've prepared for. Santana way off his line and put over his head and a dagger from Chicago as Duran has a brace. And it's 3-0 here at TQL Stadium. Well, Tiger is definitely a good description. There's this space opens up, and there's a little bit after, so you can't see it in the replay. But in the corner, there's a little bit of controversy going on. Miazga, Vasquez, towards Acosta. A back heel for Matarita. Into the 18. Trying to bring it back across Acosta. Puts it in the back of the net. There's one, and FC Cincinnati has life. Rip it a skill just to flick that as he turns it into that corner. And even before that third goal. Last hope here for the orange and blue. Trailing by two at home. Matarita will pull it down. Mata into the 18, over the head of Santos. Wobodo plays it back for Vasquez. Vasquez shoots! Vasquez scores! The Orange and Blue are within one at home. We'll see he'll be to the time in the bravery. He gets stuck in, but it's a touch. He swivels and he turns. Keeps his balance and a great fitting. Edelman squared it for Tolkien. The homegrowns connect on the pass. Manuel in a straight jacket of gold shirts. And now Amaya! Look what the former number one overall pick found through the crew defense and kissing the post. This looked like vintage Frankie Amaya here. It's a number of players back in support, clearance centrally to the middle of the park. For the drop ball, God can't miss that. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a goal kick. <laughs> Santos sprints into action. He's got Farsi. Etienne settles. Etienne! Rage against your own team! 1-1! 89th minute! Marie, this is so well played here. Santos coming inside to out. Plays the ball back post. Mo Farsi. Nagby. Morera. It's Russell Rowe. Oh, what a save! At the end there! Because he makes Coronel make the save. 
If Cornell doesn't have to make a save there, he can shuffle over. There's a lot of change that comes with coming across the pond, switching leagues, our environment and such. Torres, there goes the overlapping run, cross the middle, deflected, and it's off the post and in. Uh, I'm not sure if Toy got a touch on it at the end. I think he did, but it was really a deflection from Donovan Pines that got it past the keeper. Once again, not dealt with appropriately. Bro regard, that's just a fantastic ball. It's exactly why you put the ball just five yards out. It invites a goalkeeper. It invites a center back. Chase Salinas. Look, everybody's like patting Chase Salinas, and he's going to try and finish this. He started it. Can he finish it? This would bring the crowd to its feet as Shea driving it into traffic. Could you have written it any better? Go San Jose! In his final game, in front of the home fans, Shea Salinas has scored to give the Earthquakes a 1-0 lead. Well, it's a wonderful moment for him and his family. You can see where the whole, we've talked about it so many times, such a loved individual within the club and his teammates, and the teammates wanted him to take that free kick, and just because they were hoping exactly that was going to happen, AP, and it really did, and a wonderful moment for him to put his team again ahead in this very critical game for the Minnesota United in his last appearance at paper that was going to happen AP and it really did and a wonderful moment for him to put his team again ahead in this very critical game that should be a warning to the Quakes not to give away those oh Benji Kikanovic had trouble settling still going to put the shot on and he scores goal San Jose and the Quakes double the lead in minute 71 2-0. But Benji Kikanovic hangs in there, screams away with his body and gets a shot past Dane St. Clair. It's a really well, really well constructed goal by the Quake. And now Austin hoping to catch the Caps on their heels. Rowitzki up for Vite, heads that forward to White. Caps keep it alive and now it's up over the top. Is it onside for Ryan Gall? Ryan Gall! Speaking about Ryan Gall makes a terrific run from his midfield position after the setup from Pedro Vite. Get a quick look to his left to see if he could lay it off to Selma. Nice switch by Lucas Cavallini finds Luis Martins in space. It's ahead to Ryan Gall. Can he cut it back for Cavallini? He does! Lucas Cavallini is back! against the Seattle Sounders where those two hook up just attacking the space once again into the spot where they can get themselves open for the easy topic. Ojeda this time. Savarino steps away from Brugman. On to the right side it goes. This is good for the visitors. Watch out. Herrera in the area. Plays it across. They score! Cordova on the end of that one and the Galaxy find themselves down one nothing in this match inside 26 minutes of play goal number nine of the year for Cordova by Savarino and it allows this to happen where he can play this ball wide now the overlapping run comes the ball gets played in the space and at this point the Galaxy defense is out of sort looking for the equalizer here in a game that has been very difficult for the LA Galaxy here's Douglas Costa Looking for that 1-1 score, fires and scores! It is 1-1 inside 68 minutes of play. Douglas Costa, his fourth goal of the season. And he wanted this, immediately stepped up to take it, and this is hit with pace. And again, it's just two different teams defensively in the first and second half. This long throw. Cotter in front, and there's the goal. And it is Ivan Angulo after Urchan Cotter got ahead to it. And just like that, explosive indeed, Orlando goes in front.
the back post, Joe Tollison. I love the throwing. The long throwing pays off. But look at the back post. It's Torres who attacks the ball. Pereira tries to step in. Now Santi Rodriguez comes away with it. Maxi. Finding Gabi Pereira out on the right hand side. Little step over. Pereira with the left foot. No, he won't get the shot off. Pushes into Keaton Parks. Ball sitting there. Antonio Carlos misses. Titus Mago after the ball edge of the area in front. Alexander Collins! And it is 1-1 New York City. He had the first against Red Bulls. He has the first for City today. And we're level at one. He created a perfect opportunity for Alexander Collins to get the top in. It's a massive goal. It's determination at its very, very best. Great ball. Oh, good ball by Maxi. As he finds Gabby Pereira, Tyler Magno, he makes the run. Tyler Magno, the shot, the goal! Tyler Magno on the feed from Gabby Pereira. He has a goal and an assist. And New York City has the lead 2-1. to one. It's next level finishing right there from a player who's really struggled in front of goal. Gabriel Pereira with the assist. What a touch that is. The finish even better. And all the way across to Palacios. Kevin Acosta. Vela with a bit of space, with an angle, and with a goal of the utmost quality. Carlos Vela, LAFC's wizard, with a wave of the magic wand. It's just, it's the vision here from Acosta, because Moreno slides over thinking there was going to be some kind Mascara looks the part. Every single time he's gotten to the final third, a dangerous ball's been played in. Chuiloma helps it out to Brava. Espria! What month is it? Yes, that's right. It's Oktoberfest in Portland. <laughs> But just sloppy defending from the two center backs of LAFC. And it's October 2nd. Palacios. Dennis Buanga. Buanga still. Oh, deflected it in. Dennis Buanga scores his first goal for LAFC. And it may be the moment that clinches the supporters. of the last two seasons for Seattle in regular season play. Right back though from Fry, shallowly into the middle, Agata brings it down, Agata! Kansas City in front, Seattle knocked out as it stands. Ariaga. The first touch with his left foot just cushions it into his path, and then it's the turn, rotation, and a strike past Stephen Fry, finally. Joe Willis, who kept out a Chicharito penalty in Nashville's last home game and conceded against Ricky Pouge late in the match, very late. Ferreira against Willis, and Houston lead at Jonas Park with an 11th goal of the season for Sebastian Ferreira. Chilowitz summons Guido Gonzalez Jr. to the monitor. Ball goes deep. Schaffelberg is there. Former teammate from Toronto, Griffin Dorsey to clear. Romney under pressure, and Quintero's got the other side of him, and is away, and he has Ferreira in the middle, and he picks him out. And Ferreira's going to make it too surely. He does. And Houston double their advantage to stun Jonas Park. A breakaway goal. And Nashville now have some work to do. Joe Willis's momentum carrying by. He's got to throw himself to make himself big. And then before Romney can recover, Ferreira cuts it back to the near post. Calmly slip. That's Welsh corner of the night for Nashville. Here. Not proved too effective so far, but with Houston down to 10, what can change? 
a lot. Zimmerman with the goal. In the final seconds, it is 2 1. He's at his feet, but his ability to rise up and time the header where he can be above it and snap it down is next to none in Major League Soccer.